the cost of a circular table is directly proportional to the square of the radius. A circular table with radius of 40 centimeters costs $50. Find the cost of the circular table with a radius of 60 centimeters. Here, it says that the cost of a circular table is directly proportional to the square of the radius. And so we're gonna use C for cost, and then we're gonna use R for radius. And so the cost is directly proportional to the radius squared. This symbol here is for directly proportional. So we have that the cost of the circular table is directly proportional to the square of the radius or to the radius squared. And so what does, what does this mean? If C is directly proportional to R squared, what does this mean? Well, this means that C is equal to K multiplied by R squared. And so this particular statement, if we say that C is directly proportional to R squared, it means that C is equal to K times R squared. Now, what is C? Well, C in this case, C is the cost and that's $50. And what is R? Well, R is 40 centimeters, right? That's the radius. And so we substitute those values in an effort to find what K is. And so we have C is 50 and R is 40. And so we have 40 squared and 40 squared is 40 times 40. And 40 times 40 is 1,600. So we have 1,600 multiplied by K is equal to 50. Next, we say 1,600 multiplied by K, and that gives us 1,600 K. And so we divide both sides of this equation by 1,600 because we want to isolate K. We cancel this 1,600 with this. And so we are left with K is equal to 50 divided by 1,600. And when we divide these, when we divide 50 by 1,600, we get 0 0.03125. So K is equal to 0 0.03125. And so that's what K is. Now the question asks us to find the cost of the circular table. So they want us to figure out what C is. So find C or find the cost of the circular table with a radius of 60 centimeters. So when the radius is 60 centimeters, what will be the cost of the circular table? And so we use this formula, C is equal to K times R squared because C is directly proportional to R squared. And so we know what K is. Well, K is 0 0.03125. And we know what R is. Well, R is 60. And so we have 0 0.03125 multiplied by 60 squared. And so when we multiply this out, we get C is equal to 112.5. And so when, when we multiply 0 0.03125 by 60 squared, we get 112.5. And so that's the answer to this question. Next, for part B, it says if the cost of the circular table is $200, so in this case, they give us the cost, calculate the radius of the table. And so if we know that these that the cost is directly proportional to the radius squared, and that means that C is equal to K multiplied by R squared. Now, in this case, we know what C is, right? C is 200, right? Because the cost of the circular table is 200. We know what K is, K is 0 0.03125, uh, but we do not know what the radius is, and that's what we have to figure out. And so we divide both sides of this equation by 0 0.03125. And that's because we're trying to isolate R squared. We cancel this with that. And so we are left with R squared is equal to 200 divided by 0 0.03125. Next, we divide 200 by 0 0.03125 and we get 6,400. And so we have that R squared is equal to 6,400. Next, we take the square root of both sides. We take the square root of this side, and we take the square root of that side, and we cancel the root with the power. And so on the right-hand side, we are just left with R is equal to the square root of 6,400. 
And what is the square root of 6,400? Well, that's going to be 80. And so we have that R is equal to 80. So if the cost of the circular table is $200, then the radius of the table is 80 centimeters. And that's the answer to this particular question.